am back. So, this is going to be a part two of the um, first one. I still have my hair in hot rollers, but all I did was took five minutes to do this eye. And um, I want to tell you guys something, like, for a super ultimate, nice, sexy, um, smoky eye, you want to get this really skinny brush, 222. Now, most of you ladies go underneath your eye with a smaller brush, right? You don't take, like, a, t like a big puffy brush and go underneath your eye. Well, what you want to do, you can even start off with texture and just take it and start blending really lightly underneath. Like, not at your lash line, but just right underneath and dragging out some of that color. Um, what this is going to do is cause a very nice fade from the black, and it's not just adding more black and you look like you have, like, really bad smoky eye. Do you know what I mean? Then, after you've done that, okay, you can take sketch and go along that same course, but a little bit closer to the lash line. And then take it in there to that crease. And just start dragging it, you know, and you'll have a really nice fade underneath your eye. And, and then, you know, go in and start rimming your eye underneath with black uh, shadow with a, like, a liner brush or eyeliner and go underneath and then just blend that out again. And you have this wonderful, smoky eye. You can even go in a little bit darker. But I just wanted to share that. I do a lot of that for photo shoots because in photo shoots, Everything needs to be a little bit more exaggerated if you're going to do a dark look. Now, obviously, if it's not going to be a dark look, then you don't. But doing, you know, having a lot of uh, hands-on experience, I've learned. Like, and it looks good when you're out, you know what I mean? Put some extra mascara on there because it's going to look like you're going to need that line. Also, what I'm going to do is take my Studio Fix Foundation because all you guys wonder what I do about foundation. I don't know if I've done the video. I've done so many. And they've all been at random times. And you just go in. And I do one section at the time. It, this brush to me is just my favorite. Most foundation brushes, I prefer this one. The other one, the big one, is big, but I like this one because it's small and I can get around my face in more detailed areas. Um, the paintbrush looking one, I like that one for moisturizer. I just find that, I mean, you can really pack on some great foundation with that one, um, but just buff it over because sometimes it does leave streaks. And you don't want to be a streaky mess, do you? I don't want you to because, whew, you're like, oh, I watched Rissa's Tooth video. And your friends are going to be like, mm -hmm. Good for you, you know. And if they're your friends, they're going to tell you not to watch me because you have streaks on your face. Bunch of lying. Horrible. Take your favorite bronzer. And we are going to contour. With the fluffy brush, uh, you can use a contour brush, uh, something nice and fluffy. I always do my temples and right above. And what this is going to do is cause um, the 3D effect. You know, you guys have known this, but these are to my new subscribers who haven't seen all of my videos and ask the same questions. And I don't blame you because not everybody has time to watch YouTube. Um, I know I don't, but you know when you get hooked and you're like, five more minutes, five more minutes. Ugh, doesn't that happen to you all the time? It happens to me almost every day. Um, da -da 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 take my favorite brush, which is shading. And with this look, since it's a night out, um, and if you're going to get super hammered, uh, you're probably going to want to wear a clear gloss because <clears throat> you're going to look like crapola if you're going to have some like dark lips on and you're just going to be like out there and all a mess, drinking them skinny bees, you know. Whew. And really, who's jumped on the wagon? The skinny bitch wagon. If you read the blog, I have the ingredients and uh, a little tab list of what to do, the how-to, and um, it's great. It's great. It's fabulous. I love it. 
Do you? And who subscribed to Jose? Math 2002, which he needs to get on it and start making some videos, okay? Because really, he's super funny. I mean, he's my best friend. So, um, like I wouldn't have anything less. People who make me laugh, and he's so random, and he's so handsome. Oh, you look gorgeous. Anyway, I'm taking out my um, hot rollers. I'm going to show you what I usually do. Sparkle! Sparkle! It's so beautiful. Oh, that is really pretty. Can you take that rubber band off your toe, please? The rubber band on your toe. On both your toes. Crazy. kick your ass. So quit, okay? I don't look like fucking Aubrey O'Day. Ugh. I mean, she's great and all, I guess. I don't know her. But she used to come to the Mac in Palm Desert because she's from La Quinta. And, um, yeah. Whatever. So, flip and spray and you work it, girls. Okay, style it. Kind of want this front thing going on. The hoop. Wow. So, yeah. That's it. I odd. No, I'm just kidding. That's probably really loud in your ear. Wow. But, um, anyway. Back in two. Okay, <laughs> you have no shirt on, baby. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Um, yeah. Comment and rate. I like to read them. They make me happy. And the more I see them, the more you will see that I like really reply to you because I like to keep in contact.